Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 14 of season 2 of Galactic Science and I am just putting the finishing touches to the second floor in this area here um, and there's one thing that I want to make before, and rather two things that I want to make before we get to that point um, using some of our ender pearls and a little bit of wool because I want to make these elevator things they are going to come in handy. Now, I'm wondering how I'm going to do a particular thing here because I want to go up and put this this elevator, I think I want it kind of in the middle of the room to be honest, um, which would put it there. So if I put that there and this directly below like so I can do that which is nice however when I close this up I think what I'm going to find is that there's not going to be any oxygen up here because it's going to be sealed so I'm not altogether sure how yeah no footsteps now and I think I'll probably find that this is going down. Yes, it is. So by doing that, I've kind of... kind of put myself in a funny situation. So I need to figure out what kind of block that I want to put in here on the floor that is going to act as um, a grate for the air. In the meantime, I'm going to just chop a hole in the floor. What I will probably need to do is put some wiring up here anyway for power. So maybe in the corner somewhere, maybe over here. Yeah, I could probably use over here and then go up through the floor. And rather than using one of the sealed pipes, I could then use one uh, just a wire going up through a hole in the floor, and that would allow the oxygen up there as well. But in the meantime, we'll just have to do that. That's fine. Cool. And I'm quite happy with how that works. I'm going to grab a little bit of... Um, like that. And we'll light up this room as well. So we'll go one like that, two like that, three like that, four like that. And we will do one on either side to kind of keep things lit. That looks nice. Excellent. Very pleased with that. How does it look from the outside? I suspect it will look rather good. Yes, yes, it does. Let's have a look from an elevated position. Oh, yes. And from over here. Still haven't finished this. Need to do that. Um, Yeah, that's looking very good. I do like that a lot. Cool. So, keeping with the modular idea. Um, Yeah, the modular idea is working quite nicely for the design of this. I am very pleased with how that is looking. So what do I want to put into this room? I want to stop having to run back and forth everywhere with, you know, taking this through to the crafters through there and then from those crafters to the hammerer and then back and forth and back and forth. I am going to put the crafters and the hammerer upstairs and have our have our ore processing a little bit more automated. So I think I want to come and I want to get that wiring up there. Now where how's that gonna work? Is that gonna be okay? Yes, that's gonna be perfect actually or putting the wi wiring up there, but that has just opened us up. Right, okay. That's less than ideal, um, but we can work with that. I can fill in that hole. We can fill in that hole. 
It was just me trying to make it aesthetically pleasing there before, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this we're going to do that and we're just going to fill it in like that there we go that'll work make it a little bit better. There we go, that's fine. And now we can run that cabling under the floor a little bit. And we should have some cable, that's only the thin stuff. Do we have any of the thick cable? Hmm. What have we got in here? Yes, we have an abundance of thick cable. Cool, cool, cool. And we should have access here there Ooh. have I just broken that cable it looks very much like I did yes I did um, like that then we'll come over and then we're gonna come up Okay, cool beans. Like that. Nice one. Okay. Oh, no, not that. Hmm. Like that. Cool, like that. Right, so we're going to have to watch because I think the cabling might be a little bit of a problem on out on the upper floor. Um, and I've just realised, I think I have kind of knocked a hole. Yeah, there's a little bit there that's not sealed. And it's tricky to get up here and seal this. That needs to be changed out for that. Like so. And then I'll come around here and do this bit here. Cool. Nice one. On to the actual technical bit now. I'm going to take our crafters that we've got pop them down here, hopefully I've got them in the right order. Not that it really matters, other than for my peace of mind, um, and that will work quite nicely. Excellent. Now, what I want to do is, I want, um, I'm actually wanting something slightly different from that. I want to use one of these because I want to make a blocked extraction. Excellent, I have the stuff over here. And... Come on. Let's make a blocked extraction for that. Cool. And we'll take the other ones with us. And what I'm wanting to do is use one of these things from Refined Relocation, a wireless block extender. This is actually quite an advanced bit of kit from um, the the mod. What is it? Uh, refined. So, we've got these things, block extenders. Um, and what you can do is you can put these things up against another um, inventory or machine or something and then you link this to the machine or the inventory and it gives you more sides to be able to extract from. So you could stick it up against another chest and then have more pipes coming out or more pipes going in or something like that. So when when six sides isn't enough then you can put this up against the side of it and do that. Um, and there's more advanced versions of this block. The advanced one so you can actually see um, when you're connecting up to one side of it, oh, this is actually going to be the downside. So for things that are that are non-eye-sided, like 
furnaces that you have to extract from the bottom of. Well, if you can't get to the bottom, you could stick this onto one side of it and say that the side is actually the bottom and pull out from the side of it instead. Um, and it gives you more options. This one, as the name suggests, means you don't even need this block next to the block that you are linking it to. I have a linker here and I'm going to go up with this linker and link this chest. So that iron chest is now stored in this linker thing, uh, the recipe for which is relatively simple. Um, just ender pearl there that was going to be the issue, but it is no longer a problem for us. And I'm going to put our wireless block extender just down here, and it's very cool. It's got a swirly pattern to it, and then I'm going to shift... There we go. Uh, gonna right click, just a normal right click. Shift right click to link to something. Right click on the wireless block extender to then link to that. Um, so that is now, for all intents and purposes, the iron chest that is down there. <clears throat> so when I come up and out of that and into this, this is set that the only thing it can accept is the broken ores. So when I say use this blocked extraction pipe, because I don't ever want anything to go back into that chest, do I? No. So I'm going to use the blocked extraction and put it on there. And I would have thought that would have started working. It has not. Why has it not? Hmm. Why you know? Ah, there we go, there we go, it has started working. And all the broken ores are coming out and going into here. That is perfect. That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right, and now I want to put the automatic hammerer on the end there as well. Okay, and... Uh, I need another wire for this. Um, let's get rid of this. Let's grab a bit of aluminium. I have no aluminium. Really? Really? No aluminium? Oh well. Right, we'll, we'll just work with the, uh, the small wire that we've got there then. We'll just work with what we've got. And I will switch that up in a little bit. Um, we'll put our upgrades back in there. And then we will connect up our thing to there. So still nothing going into that because nothing that's in the iron chest can be hammered. But if we go and put an extractor on here, that should... Yeah, there we go. Start extracting and putting into the hammerer. Now that's blocked that, which is a little bit of a pain. But um, that is going to hammer down. Cool. And now if I put an extractor onto this, it will extract out and go into this one because it's going to make the crushed aluminium ore and it's going to go and be able to go back into that. So if I do that in a second that should go in there. Come on. Ah, because it's stuffed. It doesn't like that. It doesn't like extracting from there when it's stuffed. So I need to say that'll do that but let's say it only does it every five seconds. Yeah. Let's remove this. Go back into here. Take our... Or from there. And there. Right. So that's coming out. Um, this can't send anything at the moment because that is still full. Well, not full, but it's still blocked off. That's sending the stuff over here. 
cool. And then that will, once this is finished hammering, be able to send the rest of the stuff over. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking good. Perfect. Um, so I need some more relocators and stuff. Um, I need another two extractor, extraction things. Yeah, yeah, that's looking good. Right, let me get some more extracting things, and I think I might get myself another um, furnace, another smelter or something. Um, do I want an alloy smelter or do I want a furnace of some description? We could do an electric furnace. Electric arc furnace. Better faster alternative to both traditional coal and electric furnaces. Double output from ores. Well, that's not really going to help us, and that's quite expensive. How about the nuclear furnace? It's ridiculously quick. Crushed obsidian, basic plating, and a furnace. Smelts items very quickly using uranium and thorium ingots and dust as fuel. Oh, well, we don't have access to that, so that's not going to work. Uh, metal furnace, electric furnace. I'm not altogether sure. I think I'll probably just make um, the alloy smelter and I'll do that, actually. So I'm going to come back in a moment. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm liking this a lot. I'm not liking this at the front. I've kind of done a bit janky because I wanted to make sure that there was only certain things going into the smelter and not pulling out coal or something like that. I don't know what I would... There might be something from the iron chest that might go into the smelter, but that's looking a little bit janky, and I have a plan on how to make it unjankied, if that is indeed a thing. Right, that's going to push that into that chest for the moment. So we've got plenty of aluminium just now. Um, I did find some other heavy aluminium wire, so I did that. So that's all good. This is going quite well. We've got... A load of stuff. We need lots more um, upgrades in that to make it go as fast as possible. I think I have some more there. So that's what I'm going to do just now and see if I can get this going a lot faster. Is that going to keep up? It appears that it is. Yep, that's good. Now it's done it again. Ah, now you see it was trying to put in one from each of the things. Um, it might be okay. It might be okay, because this has got a lot of storage in here. So what it'll do is... Yeah, they unblocked itself. So that's okay. I can cope with that. And that aluminium there is going fine. Um, I would quite like that to run a bit faster. I'd need to make myself an octadic capacitor, which I've made octadic capacitors for this one. So I might just nick that and get this thing to catch up with itself a little bit better. There we go. Cool. So things are progressing a piece here. That's rather good. That's waiting to go. That is now doing. Perfect. That's going really well. Okay. Step two. That is the ores sorted out from here. And now we need to get these things sorted out. So what I would quite like to do is do another one of these, basically. Another one of these barrel walls with a sorting thing. Now I think I've actually still got quests for this. If we have a look, Ooh, I've got lots and lots of stuff done. Um, right, let's have a look and have a look at these. Oh yeah, I made the pol poly tool, didn't I? Um, I don't really care whether I pick helium or beryllium. Both are as much in the suchness as the other. Oh yeah, I created the vat in between episodes, which meant then 
that these all got completed as well because when I made all the advanced generator stuff then that got completed as well. So we've got um, transfer nodes and world interaction upgrades, cellulose or sucrose or a reward bag. Reward bag it is! Uh, three iron turbines and a reward bag. Ooh, some bottles of enchanting. And more bottles of enchanting. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and there's some other stuff there. Right, let's go to our storage solutions. Yes, it wanted us to make a storage... Uh, uh, the chest thing. And then a sorting storage upgrade. So a sorting iron chest. If I make a sorting iron chest, that completes that. And we get a bunch of stuff. And I need to make sorting barrels. Well, let's do that. Make a sorting chest and sorting barrels. Let's grab... I think I've got some wood in there. Yep. So, sorting. So, the sorting iron chest is an iron chest with gold and iron. Cool. Um, I need... Oh, we've got loads and loads of chests in here, don't we? Yes, we do. Um, and we've got some barrels as well, so which I may as well grab, because I suspect I am going to need them in just a moment. Let's make our iron chest. And then let's make our sorting iron chest. Cool. That will work. Um, and then let's make a sorting barrel. Just that. Cool. So that should complete those quests. Yes, that's done. So we're going to make sorting upgrades for barrels. Oh, and we get that as well. I thought it was a choice, but apparently not. We're getting there. I haven't done anything with these router things yet. Um, I'm not altogether sure how they work. I haven't found much in the way of... Uh, excuse me, in the way of information on that. Let's, um, let's get rid of some of the stuff that's on us. That is going to have that in there. Cool. Um, we've got a sorting chest up. Great. So, I want to put that there, and then we're going to have our barrels, sorting barrels, set out like so, and then we've got our normal barrels, like that, and then we can put our barrel upgrade things on them. So. Right, and we'll need another one for that one. Um, not going to do anything. We've got loads of sorting upgrade stuff. Let's get rid of some of that because we don't need that. Don't need all those chests or that at the moment. Let's open up these and get rid of some of that. So we've got. A hand glider, we've already got one of them. And it's no use to us. Glowstone torches, wow. More tin. I'll take that. And another spawn pole. Okay. Let's put that lot in there. And the bottles of enchanting, I will probably use at some point relatively soon. And we can get rid of a bunch of that stuff. Now, I want to cart this stuff upstairs um, and make some more sorting barrels and stuff and get things sorted out there because we don't obviously have enough sorting barrels at the moment. See you in a sec. I think we're just about there. I've moved everything up here. I need to apply these to some of the stuff, so... Yep. Oops. And that's there. So we're going to need another one. 
Well, what I can do is I can go. Oh no, I need two. I need two. Um, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like that, which is very messy of me. And that's gonna go there. I'm trying to make it aesthetically pleasing. Um, and then this one. You go there. And this one. You go there. Um, ooh, uh, that one. You go there. Cool. Um, this one. You go there, and I turn you into a sorting one. Cool beans. You go there. Perfect. These two go there, go there, and I need one more of these because that needs to be for that. I'm going to need some more as well, actually, come to think of it. But for the moment, this will do for all of the ones that come from gravel. And from the moon turf. So that's fine. Then I put on that thing. Do I want that there? Do I want that there? Or do I just go with no? I def I definitely want that there. right. So filtering, I want. I want. I want to. Ooh, right. No, I want to get rid of that. And I want to say customizable text based filter and blacklist broken. And I want to put star. Yeah? And that way, because the only thing this is pulling out of here is broken or. In fact, it doesn't need to be that. And if I put that on there, then it should start pulling over all the stuff that is not broken ore, in theory. Come on you. But of course I need to do like so. I think that should probably start pulling over in a second. No? Not gonna work, no? Hmm. That should be working. Click to toggle. Items included in this filter will not be allowed. Broken. Well, it should be allowing everything that's not broken or. But it does not appear to be working. Uh, um, what's happening with this? That is connected. Nope, no, no. That's the crafter, that's the relocator, factory block, that's the other relocator. It shouldn't make any difference. But we'll say up. Come on. No? Not gonna work for me, are you? You're just gonna be a pain. Why is the other one working? That one's still working, isn't it? Have I now broken that as well? No, no, it's going. Yeah, yeah. That is working. Maybe I will need to go on to this one then. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much about that. We're going to say 
blacklist broken. I'm going to try it without the the asterisk. Let's see what happens. I definitely don't want that though. No, because I don't want things coming out of here and perhaps going into there. But that Hmm. No. At least one of the configured items need to allow it to pass. That should be fine. Let me have a fiddle with this. Right. The filter does not appear to work as a blacklist. Um, so what I've done is whitelisted all the things that I am interested in. So we've got all of these marked down in here in the whitelist. Not exactly how I'd wanted to do it, but it still works. Um, it's a little bit of maintenance required if I add other things in, but that is working fine. And I wanted to change this around as well because... Um, just because. So I wanted to have that going on like that. I definitely didn't want that to happen. Um, so what I want to do is I want to filter that and I want to add on this and I only want in dust. Point. So we now have fully automatic sifting and processing and hammering and whatnot done. I'm quite happy with that. Um, so yeah. I'm not altogether sure what's next, but we will get there next episode, folks. Until the next time, bye-bye, and have a fun.